Hey, it's Don Copeland here with the Compress IUV 1200S, and uh, we're going to do uh, something pretty cool today. We're going to actually print on a, a base body. Um, Bill, our lead tech here, you've all probably seen in some of our videos, for a Christmas gift, birthday gift, got a chance to build his own base at a place called the Guitar Build Company up in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, right? And he's going to be up there this weekend seeing family, going to build a guitar. So what a better chance than to use your UV printer. Then to print on it, because as you know, we always do something with purpose here at Cold Desi when we use a compress. Uh, we're printing on the 1200 here just to give you an idea that you could print multiples of this up that you would never be able to replicate with a small machine. You could do one of these up on our 600S. We've got this little test print we did here just to show you. Literally, I can lay these in here like this, two more over there. I could do four of these up at a time. So we wanted to show you that while we're running this larger machine here as well. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to send over a job. We, this is a three-layer type of print. We understand we need white on this, and then we want to put the color on it, and we may want to put a clear over top of it. The software actually will allow you to just take the data, that's this color layer like we showed you on that cutout, take that data, and from that, generate the white that you need and generate the clear layer that you need and allow you to position them as you need to, whether you want them to shrink back or expand over. So it's not like it's something that you have to be this a magical artist with Photoshop or something like that. Ge generate your artwork and the software has all the tools in it you're going to need to generate the type of layers you want. This is a, a fairly complex op operation here that we're doing, but it's literally seamless inside of the software. Bring it in, tell it the three layers you want, and the only one we really needed to know was that color layer because everything generates off of that. What's happening is we're loading right now. There's actually a light sensor here. We've already checked it. But right here, it's a little bit of a stutter. That just tells me they had a little bit of something sticking up. It set that height. That head height is now set so that we know when the head scans back and forth, we're going to get a clean pass and not have to worry about any collision with the head with the item. All right, so there it is, it's done. We, uh, like I said, we'd, we had printed it with a white layer, color layer, and then we took a peek at it. So we wanted a little bit more of a glossy finish to it. So we've actually printed a clear coat over top of it, uh, varnish, whatever you want to call it, completely coating the top. That also helps seal everything up. Um, one thing I think I may have neglected to mention beforehand, this is just raw wood, really cool piece of raw wood, mind you. All right, this is just a raw piece of wood. We did nothing to pre-treat this or anything like that. The, and that, the beauty of that is, it's raw wood is one of the greatest things to print UV onto because it gives you a great grip. We've got a good foundation of the white on there, the colors on top of it. Now with that coating over top of it, this is going to be one cool looking finished product. And, you know, it's not just something like this you can do. I mean, obviously you can do any type of wooden instrument like this, but any type of wooden items you can absolutely, I, I'm, that's right, I can pick it up right now. Mark's reminding me I can pick this up because we've been waiting because we're going to put the multiple layers down. But you can see this is a substantial piece of wood too. 
all kinds of different items that you can look at here. I'm getting close, give you some good detail on it. Nice. All kinds of fun holes drilled in here too for wires and stuff I was asking about earlier on. But I mean, it's almost limitless the type of things that you can customize that you just take a raw piece of wood and you can turn into it. If you actually look at this here, that wood grain and that wood grain don't match up. You can give this piece of wood any pattern of wood grain that you want as well, which is pretty nice. You can use a lower grade of wood. You know, you can take woods and you can modify things like that and get some amazing effects. Take different types of wood. We're uh, actually going to be doing some sample for somebody here coming up where they actually stain their wood a certain color. And then we're going to be doing silhouettes over top of it, really high-end colors over top of it. So printing on wood is just another great thing you do with a UV printer, especially if you're creative and you have some skills with the, uh, with the woodworking tools. So stay tuned. Uh, it will only seem like a second or two to you, but it's going to be a couple weeks, so we have this back here when Bill gets back in the office. We're going to show you the finished guitar.